Welcome back down to Sneakers. We're out here with little Arwen again. And she's having a fun old day. It's not super cold, so she's having a good time. Shadow Facts is completely dirty. If you're wondering why, he rolled into mud. It's that warm out here. Oh, come on, guys. <laughs> you guys are weird. Anyway, today I just wanted to talk about goats again. And what I wanted to do was talk about the difference between... Hi. <laughs> But I wanted to talk about the difference between a grade goat, an experimental goat, and a purebred goat. Because it's important you know the terminology before you go buy your goat. Mostly because you don't want to get taken advantage of. Okay? There she goes. I'm gonna go play with the chicken. It's just chicken under there. So anyway, I wanted to talk about that a little bit. So let's start by talking about registration itself. Do you need a registered goat? So registered goats are definitely more money. <laughs> yeah. Registered goats are definitely more money. Um, if you're going to show your goat or if you're going to breed your goat, you definitely, definitely want to make sure your goat is registered because you need registration to show or really to, to breed your goat if you're not just breeding you know, random meat goats are random. If you're not breeding just a random goat and you have a purebred goat that you want to breed, you really should make sure it's registered because the babies will fetch higher prices and they will be more in demand because people who want a purebred goat generally want registration. So if you're going to be breeding, you might want registered goats. And if you're going to show, you definitely want registered goats. So your registration certificate, hi, your registration certificate proves the goat is recorded in the herd book of the appropriate registry association. Okay, that's what that registration certificate does. It proves that their parents are all purebred as well. So their mom and dad are the same breed as they are. So there's no funny business. Um, they usually have the registered name. <laughs> Hi. And certain identification specifics like uh, the birth date, the breeder, current and former owners, their pedigree. If it's a dairy breed, um, it may have milk production details, which can be helpful if you're getting into dairy goats. So do you need registration? Maybe, maybe not. If you're going to be breeding or if you're going to be showing, probably. Oh, come on, you little butts. It's like, we're arguing today, Mom. Yeah, they're just arguing today over nothing. It's chicken. Anyway, a purebred goat is sometimes is supposed to be registered because the terminology terminology gets a little bit weird. So, when somebody says I've got purebred goats for sale, you should be able to say, "Okay, that means they're registered then." But you need to clarify because some people will say purebred goat and mean they are registered. And some people will say purebred goat, and it will mean they're not registered, but they are indeed purebreds because their parents are purebreds. And so it's kind of two different classifications. Okay, so you have a purebred goat, may not be registered, depending on the terminology the uh, current owner is using. And then registered goats are always purebred. That's the way that works. <laughs> so when you're going to buy a goat... And someone says they're purebred. If you if if registration is important to you, ask two questions. One, is the goat registered? Two, do the registration papers come with the goat? Okay. The answer to both of those needs to be yes if you're interested in buying a purebred registered goat. Ask those questions anyway because at least you'll know where you stand and whether or not the goat is worth the money asked. Okay. So those are two important questions to ask. Are you guys over it now? We're having a little spat. You're fine now. I know you're jealous, but you know what? You can't come out right now. You are filthy. Anyway, <laughs> that's not the point. So what's an experimental goat then? Experimental goats, their parents are registered, but they're of different breeds. So it's kind of like crosses to see how it'll go. And if they're called an experimental goat and not just a mixed or a crossbreed, then what that means is they are from registered parents, but the parents are not of the same breed. 
Okay. Experimental goats can be hilarious because you never know what you're going to get until people kind of firm up that uh, experiment. <laughs> so then what's a greed goat? Because I mentioned greed. Greed goats are unregistered and they're of unknown ancestry. So a greed goat typically is everything else, a mixed or a crossbreed, or you really have no idea. For all you know, maybe they are purebred. Maybe they are purebred and they just don't have papers and nobody wrote it down. <laughs> so you don't, the Great goats, you don't know. Okay, typically if you say a mixed or a crossbreed, you know that they're mixed. Great goats are simply, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know who the parents are. Okay, so those are kind of the differences. So each breed, it's important to note, breeds of goat and sometimes types of goat, depending on where you are, hi bud, are controlled by different registries. Okay, so not all goat breeds are controlled by the same registry. So each breed has its own registry, and each registry has its own lingo. Hi, BB. Nom, nom, nom. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. What did we just do? I think we turned up my brightness so that it's crazy. Yeah. Did we do that? Excellent. Now my brightness is completely bonkers. That's excellent. I don't even know what you did. I don't know what you did to my phone. Just goobered on it. All right, fine. We're now filming in very, very bright film. Whatever. So, <laughs> that's Arwen did that with the biting. I don't know. So now we're looking. Oh, look at how bright you are. Look at that. Now you can't see anything. You crazy goat. What is your problem? What is your problem? Anyway, so you want to learn the lingo of the registry you're using, um, the, registry, the registry of the breed you're looking at. That will help you avoid common pitfalls like getting the wrong type of goat or getting a goat that's not registered when they were supposed to be, etc., etc. Many, many goats, and probably the majority of goats, can I just back away a little bit? But probably the majority of goats are um, mixed breed and cross breeds, and in general, that can be fantastic. You can probably get away with that if you don't have specific needs. I'm not saying you have to go get a purebred goat. You certainly don't have to. Um, she's a purebred and she's registered and I have her paperwork. But we certainly don't need that. So if you don't need that, it's okay to get yourself a cheap, fun goat if that's what suits your needs. Anyway, now we can't see anything because Arwen sucks. So... Just make sure you know what you're looking at, is my point of this video. And I'm going to end the video because I can't see. That's fantastic. Anyway, <laughs> that's about it for today. We'll see you tomorrow.